Hi everyone. For today's video tutorial, let's have our views on our sensor that is STS21. To get more explanation for this, let's go to controleverything.com and search for this sensor that is STS21. So what we got is a high accuracy temperature sensor in the form of STS21. You can see uh, the features of this sensor on the site. For today's video tutorial, I will be interfacing this sensor STS21 with an Arduino Nano. So for that, I will be requiring a code. So go to resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample as you can notice. Now this from here, you can download the code. You can also download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's move ahead and look over the hardware products which we require and let's make some connections for this video tutorial. Coming to the hardware connections part, first of all we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield for the Arduino Nano. The reason we use this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. And this is available on our website controleverything.com. So make this connection and gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield like this. Now the requirement is of our sensor that is STS21 and this is a connecting cable. Now make the connection of the sensor and the cable like this and make sure while making this connection the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing has to be repeatedly done for the shield. Now to power up our Arduino Nano we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. Now we are completed and done with our connections part. Let's move ahead and interface the sensor with our code. For the interfacing of the sensor with the code we have to go to the GitHub first of all and here search for control everything community which is our repository and click on it. Now further move ahead and search for STS21 and here is our required sensor and this is our Arduino code. Let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to download and install the Arduino software ID on our local machine and the steps are provided on this link which you can see. Now please follow these links carefully and do install an Arduino software ID on our local machine. Now get back to the code and here is our Arduino code with .in extension. As you notice first of all we have included wire.h library in our code and defined the address 0x4a. In the void setup function we have initialized serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. In the void loop function uh, we have select no hold master mode which is 0xf3 and we have requested 2 bytes of data to be read. Now in the conversion part for the temperature we have used the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet for the sensor STS21. At the very bottom of our code we have output data on the serial monitor which is in the form of Celsius and Fahrenheit scales for temperature. So this is how the code is. Now let's see how our code works. Now for the working of the code, first of all copy this entire Arduino code for STS21 and open up the terminal for the Arduino. Enlarge it and paste the code and save it and name it STS T1 for the reference. Now verify and compile the code and now upload the code. The code upload is done. Now open up the serial monitor and check for the temperature. Now when I press my finger over the sensor, there is a change in temperature and again doing that, there is again change in temperature for Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how the sensor works with the code. Now let's proceed further. Just now we have seen the working of high accuracy temperature sensor STS21. STS21 is a set of new standards in terms of size and intelligence. It has a fully calibrated digital output, I2C interface 
with low power consumption along excellent long term stability these features make it applicable for applications with high demands on temperature accuracy this sensor can be purchased from our website controleverything.com and the Arduino code is available on the same site. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. Now, for further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on our community page. For articles and blog like these, you can reach us on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. At the end, you have a nice day and thanks for watching.